my name is Tuba and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over how to use the matrix method to solve for a quadratic equation. So say we're given in a quadratic equation that I'm going to write out for you right now, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now we have three unknowns that we need to solve for, a, b, and c. And to solve for three unknowns, we need three equations. And we can get an equation every time someone gives us a point that's on this quadratic equation. So say someone gives us a point x1, comma, y1. We would just plug this back into here and we would get an equation. y1 equals a x1 squared plus b x1 plus c. So this is one equation. And we would just do that with two more points to get three equations. And that's first step. Second step is to take those three equations and turn them into matrices so we can solve for these three unknowns. Show you how to do that right now by writing out our matrices. So, we're going to start by taking these three values in here. So it would be x1 squared, x1, and 1. And then the other two would be the exact same thing, x2 squared, x2, 1, x3 squared, x3 and 1, where x2 and x3 are the other points that we would be given. And we're just going to write out another matrix with the constants in them, so a, b, and c. And we're going to set that equal to what we have over here, which would just be y1, y2, and y3. And we can see that this is the equation just using the basic principles of matrix multiplication because you take the row, you flip it, and you multiply it by the column and add it together. So it would be x1 squared plus, times a plus bx1 plus c, which is exactly what we have here, and that's equal to y1. So let's let this matrix equal matrix A. This is going to be our matrix called x. And this is going to be our matrix called y. So right now we have a times x equals y. So we want to get rid of this so we have x equals something because we're trying to solve for these guys in here. Now to do that, to get rid of the a, we can just multiply it by its inverse because anything times its inverse is going to be equal to 1. Do a inverse times a times x equals a inverse times y. We did the same thing to both sides of this equation, so it's the exact same equation. Nothing changes, that goes to 1. Now we have x equals a inverse times y. There you go. Solve for the three equations, plug them back in, you got your quadratic equation. Now to take the inverse, or solve for the inverse of a matrix, there's a couple of different ways you can use it. Uh, you can use a graphing calculator, you can use Kramer's rule. If you have any more questions, definitely reach out to a professor or a math expert who can explain to you further. My name is Suba and thank you for taking an interest in math.